Let me tell you a story about quantum computers. A story that sounds so incredible, it seems like science fiction. NASA has shut down a quantum computer after something crazy happened. In a world where technology is constantly redefining the boundaries of what is possible, we are on the brink of another revolution that could bring incredible advances to our species. But quantum computers also pose a danger that is difficult to calculate, especially when combined with artificial intelligence. Will machines soon take control of everything? Or will this technology only bring us benefits? Multi-billionaire and visionary Elon Musk sees the combination of quantum computers and artificial intelligence as a huge opportunity for humanity. Quantum computers can not only bring us incredible technological advances, but also enrich all areas of our lives and find solutions to problems that were previously a long way off. With the ability to perform calculations at a speed and complexity that far outstrips conventional computers, quantum computers could radically change everything from cryptography to drug discovery. But with this incredible power comes unprecedented challenges and ethical questions. One of the most fascinating yet worrying aspects of quantum computers is their potential ability to break existing encryption systems. These systems are the backbone of all our digital security. They protect everything from online banking to government secrets. With the power of quantum computers, security systems like Shor's algorithm, which can factorize large numbers quickly, could easily be broken. This could pose a threat to the security of confidential information and the security of our entire world that has so far been difficult to calculate. If this technology falls into the wrong hands, we could be facing a cyber war and chaotic conditions would descend upon the entire world. What exactly is a quantum computer? Imagine a normal computer that uses small parts called bits for its calculations. These bits are like tiny little switches that can either be on, which correspond to a one, or the tiny light switch is off, which corresponds to a zero. With these on and off switches, the computer does all kinds of calculations. A quantum computer uses something we call qubits. Qubits are also like little switches, but they can do something that makes a big difference. They can be a bit on and a bit off at the same time. Since they do not fully occupy any state, they somehow remain in between or represent both states at the same time. This makes quantum computers more than a thousand times more powerful than normal computers. However, qubits are very sensitive. They need cold and absolute silence in order to achieve optimum computing performance. This is why quantum computers look very different from normal PCs or laptops. The quantum computer itself is tiny, but the cooling and buffering is a pretty big deal. With their many tubes, the first quantum computers look really strange. The quantum in quantum computer comes, of course, from the quantum mechanics of physics. Quanta are particles of light and even smaller building blocks of matter such as atoms. Quantum mechanics teaches us that these quanta sometimes behave like waves, that they can be in several places at the same time, and that they only become particles when they are measured or observed. This sounds crazy, but it's precisely this fact that helps quantum computers to calculate much faster than all known normal computers. The idea for quantum computers came from scientists who were thinking about these strange properties of quanta. One of the pioneers in this field was Richard Feynman, this brilliant scientist was one of the masterminds behind the development of quantum computers. His influence can be traced back in particular to a speech he gave in the 1981 physics conference in Snowbird, Utah. In this speech, entitled Simulating Physics with Computers, he presented the idea that physical processes could be simulated much more efficiently with computers based on the principles of quantum mechanics than with classical computers. Feynman argued that the complexity of quantum phenomena is so great that conventional computers cannot simulate them efficiently. He suggested that a computer that uses quantum properties itself, a quantum computer, would be able to accomplish this task much more effectively. This idea was revolutionary because quanta, as the building blocks of our world, are very probably also something like magical information carriers. This means that a quantum should theoretically have access to the blueprint of the universe. Quantum physical phenomena such as entanglement and superposition could then not only be used to solve everyday problems, but computers would very probably also be able to give us access to knowledge that we do not yet have. A quantum computer could not only solve existing problems in astrophysics or show us how the universe really began, 
It could also help us, for example, to find new medicines or predict the weather with certainty. It's a bit like having a super clairvoyant to help us solve the most difficult puzzles. A state of emergency at NASA. Imagine how quantum computers are revolutionizing space travel. With their unprecedented computing power, quantum computers could perform complex simulations of space missions, mathematically reproduce the dynamics of galaxies 100%, or design new materials for spacecraft that can withstand extreme conditions in space. They could also help analyze huge amounts of data from telescopes and space probes, and no discovery, no matter how small, would escape us. With a little training and combined with artificial intelligence, a quantum computer could explore space autonomously like a super scientist and provide us with all the data we could possibly want. But with this incredible technology comes risks. If NASA were to use a quantum computer, spies or saboteurs with their own quantum computer could gain access to NASA's systems. They could steal or manipulate confidential information about space missions, advanced technologies or national security data. This could not only jeopardize NASA's missions, but also the security of national and international space projects. It would be easy for terrorists to take control of entire spacecraft. Tampering with the data or control systems of spacecraft and satellites could lead to malfunctions or even the loss of extremely expensive objects, such as the James Webb Space Telescope. Quantum computer systems at NASA and other important facilities would have to be constantly monitored and extremely protected to prevent misuse and terror. Quantum computers are therefore a balancing act between our constant pursuit of progress and protection against the potential dangers that this advanced technology brings with it. Technical Superheroes Despite these concerns, quantum computer technology also offers incredible opportunities. In drug research, for example, quantum computers could help analyze complex molecular structures and develop new drugs faster than ever before the challenge is to harness the benefits of quantum computing while minimizing the risks. Scientists and experts worldwide are working on new cryptographic methods known as post-quantum cryptography. These systems are designed to protect us from potential threats from quantum computers. Post-quantum cryptography is an encryption method that cannot be broken even by the most powerful quantum computers. Where a threat grows, a defense mechanism is created at the same time. We also didn't really know what was in store for us due to the increasingly intensive networking of this world and the internet. Nevertheless, both innovations have progressed and become the norm today. And we have to say that our world has benefited from these innovations on the whole. Something similar will happen with quantum computers and encryption technology. We are forced to constantly redefine the boundaries of security in the digital world, but we will do so and ultimately quantum computers with their extraordinary computing power, can also help us to create more security. A fatal combination, quantum computers and artificial intelligence. Consider for a moment the possibility of combining these supercomputers with artificial intelligence. Quantum computers could play a significant role in verifying the accuracy of information generated by AI systems, such as chatbots in the future. Quantum computers, with their ability to perform complex calculations at incredible speed, could theoretically help to perfect the reliability and precision of AI-driven responses. This would be particularly important in areas where accuracy is crucial, such as medicine, finance, or law. But there is also a dark side to these two technologies. The combination of quantum computing and AI could bring new dangers and opportunities for abuse that are currently difficult to assess. One worrying example in this area is deepfakes, which are deceptively real-looking forgeries of image and video material created by AIs. With the computing power of quantum computers, deepfakes could be even more convincing and difficult to identify. We would suddenly be living in a world where fakes and fake news would be virtually indistinguishable from the truth, and that could have dire consequences. Take a video that shows the President of the United States or another influential leader making an aggressive or provocative statement towards another country. This could be a serious insult to another head of state or even a declaration of war. Given the current mood around the world, this could have fatal consequences. The video would be so well faked with the help of AI technologies that it would look real to the untrained eye. Social media and news channels would spread it 
or the computers would hack into the sites of renowned news agencies and spread it even more real in this way. The reactions would be potentially devastating. International turmoil, stock market panic, diplomatic crises, and possibly even military responses before the fake could be uncovered. Saving the planet? Who would have thought that quantum computers could one day play a key role in the fight against climate change? These ultra-powerful computers could help us solve some of the most pressing environmental problems of our time. Imagine quantum computers being used to simulate extremely detailed climate models. These models could predict the effects of various environmental factors on climate with a precision never achievable with conventional computers. They could help us to understand weather phenomena such as El Nino more precisely or to calculate the long-term effects of greenhouse gas emissions on global warming. Later generations of these machines would very likely also help us to find solutions to the problems. Are there ways to influence the climate? Where are the decisive factors? This should not be a problem for a quantum computer equipped with the appropriate program. Quantum computers could help us develop new, environmentally friendly technologies. For example, they could drive the development of more efficient solar cells or the discovery of new methods for CO2 capture and storage. With their computing power, quantum computers could optimize energy distribution grids to make renewable energy such as wind and solar energy more efficient. The possibilities are almost limitless, and it's already certain that these computers will come. Security concerns or not, we need this technology. The development of quantum computers has already made enormous progress in recent years. Some of the best models come from companies such as IBM, Google, and Rigetti. However, these quantum computers are still a long way from becoming everyday machines. They are mostly found in research laboratories and are not yet suitable for general use due to their size and complexity. For normal users like you and me, the extremely expensive quantum computers will probably be available in the cloud system at some point. You simply buy or rent your share of one of these supercomputers and quantum computing will be available in your home. Want more exciting and up-to-date videos? Then subscribe now.